What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zenny Trap, and I'm back with another video, man. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video, I would appreciate it. Today, we got Yo Gotti's brother disturbing video before his death. So, without further ado, let's get straight to this video, man. King! This close to the family of rapper Yo Gotti confirmed the man killed outside a Hickory Hill event center is Gotti's brother. Today, we delve into the tragic and untimely demise of Big Juke, the older brother of renowned rapper Yo Gotti. In this video, we will take you through the chilling footage that captured Big Juke's final moments at a funeral, just hours before his shocking shooting death. Brace yourselves for a story that will... Oh, that's crazy. They shot that nigga right at the funeral, bro. If you got ops that's gonna shoot you at your funeral at, 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 at a funeral, those are like deadly ops. Though I don't want those type of ops, me personally, bro. Them niggas is evil, wicked, and different, bro. Niggas killing niggas in the funeral, bro. That's some demonic type stuff, bro. Very demonic. Even though I'm happy that you know the ops got what they deserve, cause you know I'm pre for life. They did bro dirty, bro. <clears throat> Speechless. Here is Yogati's brother before his death. The video. The video, which has been circulating online, shows Big Juke, born Anthony Mims, and dressing. The sad part is that bro is probably depressed. They all know how depressing funerals. That's why I hate funerals. Bro is probably depressed that day, bro. Niggas caught him lacking, bro. And that's the day where you can really catch your ops lacking for real, cause ain't nobody thinking that. Uh, the ops gonna slide on them on a funeral, bro. Memphis is crazy, bro. Long live Dolph, though, man. Number black suit towering above the other mourners. His presence is undeniable, and it's clear that he Long has live King Flip. the loss of his uncle, Eric Bolden. As he walks up to the open casket, a wave of emotions washes over him. The weight of grief is palpable as he gazes down at his uncle for the last time. Despite his own pain, Big Juke finds solace in providing comfort to friends and family. He embraces fellow grievers, offering a shoulder to lean on during this difficult time. It's evident that he is a pillar of strength for those around him, even as he grapples with his own emotions. The room is filled with a mix of sorrow and gratitude as loved ones come together to mourn the loss of a beloved family member. Amidst the tears, there are also moments of laughter and shared memories. Big Juke, with his larger-than-life personality, brings a sense of lightness to the somber affair. He shares stories, jokes, and reminisces about the good times he had with his uncle. It's a bittersweet reminder of the bond they shared and the void that will now remain. Little did anyone know that these poignant moments would be Big Juke's last. The video captures his final interactions with friends and family, forever etching these memories into the annals of time. It's a heartbreaking reminder of the fragility of life and the unpredictability of fate. Big Juke, known for his larger-than-life personality and undeniable talent, was a prominent figure in the music industry. As the brother of Yo Gotti, he had a close connection to the world of hip-hop, but Big Juke's impact extended far beyond his familial ties. He played a vital role in the success of Collective Music Group, the record label founded by Yo Gotti in 2012. Big Juke worked tirelessly behind the scenes, promoting the artist signed to the label and contributing to its growth. His dedication and business acumen were instrumental in launching the careers of several successful acts, including Moneybag Yo, 42, Doug, Black Youngster, Glorilla, ESTG, and Mozzie. Big Juke's passion for music and his unwavering support for emerging artists made him a beloved figure within the industry. But it wasn't just his professional accomplishments that made Big Juke a force to be reckoned with. He had a magnetic personality that drew people in. Known for his infectious energy and charismatic presence, Big Juke had a way of making everyone around him feel like family. He was a pillar of strength and support for his brother Yo Gotti, and their bond was evident both on and off the stage. However, tragedy struck on that fateful day when Big Juke's life was cut short. It was a Saturday afternoon, and Big Juke had just attended a funeral service in Memphis, Tennessee. Little did he know that this would be his last public appearance. After paying his respects to a departed friend, Big Juke found himself outside Perignon Restaurant and Event Center. It was here that the unthinkable happened. Gunshots rang out, shattering the peaceful atmosphere and plunging the music community into chaos. Big Juke, along with another individual, was targeted in the shooting. The details surrounding the motive and the identities of the assailants remain unclear. As news of Big Juke's death spread, tributes poured in from fans, friends, and fellow artists. The loss of this vibrant and talented individual was felt deeply by all who knew him. Social media platforms were flooded with messages of condolences as the music community mourned the untimely passing of a beloved figure. But what makes this tragedy even more chilling are the messages Big Juke left behind. Just hours before his death, he took to Instagram to pay tribute to a friend who had recently passed away. Little did anyone know that these would be his final words. In one post, Big Juke shared a picture of his friend, captioning it with a 
the words, Rip Unk, Las Vegas Eric. The heartfelt tribute showcased the deep bond he shared with those close to him. But it was another post that sent shivers down the spines of his followers. Big Jook shared a video clip of himself standing next to a Christmas tree, seemingly in a festive mood. However, the caption accompanying the video took a dark turn. He wrote, they don't want to face you. They want to snake you. Stay alert too. Stay alive. Watch your back at all times. Put snakes on the plate and eat great. Why is every people's last per post kind of like eerie bro like it's like it's very it's like i don't know bro every time niggas write the last thing it's like they they know they're gonna die and so on. it's always weird bro it's just weird bro like i don't understand how that shit always i don't know man these cryptic words now serve as a haunting reminder of the dangers that lurk in the shadows. Was Big Jook aware of the impending danger? Did he have any inkling of the tragedy that awaited him? These questions continue to haunt those who followed his journey. The news of Big Jook's death spread rapidly, leaving the Memphis hip-hop community and fans in shock. While Yo Gotti, Big Jook's brother, has not yet publicly commented on the tragic loss, several artists and performers associated with CMG took to social media. You better not, because them flipper niggas, them dolphins is going to flood the comment section. He better not comment on that loss, bro. He know better. He better just let that shit slide and not post that shit. Because he knows damn well why that nigga got smoked. Express their grief and pay tribute to their fallen colleague. Superstar CMG rapper Glorilla shared a poignant photo on Instagram. The image captured herself, Yo Gotti, and Big Juke at the 2023 Grammy Awards. The caption accompanying the photo read, Get your rest with a crying emoji, reflecting the deep sorrow felt by Glorilla and the CMG family. Another CMG rapper, Big Boogie, posted a heartfelt photo of himself with his head bowed, accompanied by the words, Forever Love You, in reference to Big Juke. Big Boogie also shared a series of Instagram stories featuring photos and videos of Big Joe, each carrying messages of love and remembrance. Louisville rapper SG, a fellow CMG artist, took to social media to honor Big Joke as well. He posted a photo of himself alongside Big Joke, expressing his gratitude for Big Joke's authenticity and writing, kept it real with me, I could never forget. The immediate reaction from the hip hop community showcases the profound impact Big Joke had on those around him. His presence, guidance, and support within CMG were highly valued, and his loss has left a void that will be felt for years to come. As we continue to unravel the details surrounding Big Juke's death, it is important to note that the investigation is still ongoing. The Memphis Police Department is diligently working to identify the suspect or suspects responsible for this tragic incident. During a press conference, Deputy Chief Paul Wright stated that the police were analyzing video footage but had not yet identified a suspect. It remains unclear whether there were multiple shooters involved in the incident. However, the police believe that Big Juke may have been targeted by the... Oh man, it is what it is, man. Anyway, man... If you guys are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you like the video. I would appreciate it. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one, man. Comment down below your thoughts and your opinions. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.